It's time for evolution. We welcome you to the Adorno Art Family. And so in today's video, we're going to be talking about love addiction. And so uh, this was a, this someone from one of our viewers wanted to for me to uh, talk about this love addiction because he was going through a, a breakup recently. And so this video was inspired by the art of letting go, the flow of abundance. And so I will have a uh, I'll have it up in, in the uh, the uh, the windows so that you can see which video that was so you can probably check that out too so i mentioned it a little bit on that video and uh, various other things as well but now i'm going to go into sp specifics for that person and so and so on my journey and my experiences dealing with this topic uh i feel that we should already be complete and abundant from within you know find peace and happiness and abundance from within you know we have we have to like not need or you know not externalize our power or our hap and our happiness to to someone else you know we have the power and so being in this abundance mindset mentally and emotionally when i talk about the art of letting go you know that you're already complete from within so when i talked in the other letter go i mentioned dating right and so in, a, in dating you know people are you you don't want to really force things people are not attracted to very forceful energy that's very needy energy like i need them to be in my life i need to find this person to complete to complete me that kind of energy is going to repel things that you want to like really attract or you know grab or or anything that it will it will repel things you know you want to come from a place of abundance you want to come from a place of cool and you know rather you see the person again it doesn't matter you're happy you're abundant from within you know so that can come now when when people do have this this abundance mindset maybe they have various other options or they are they're just peaceful and they're in they're in their purpose you know they're just you know they're just chill and relax and they don't really need need people you know they don't need anything to complete them because they are abundant from within you know they're happy you know and anything external is an extension of that happiness of that or that already exists within you know and it, we, we we're shown sometimes in the media that uh, you know to be obsessive towards the person that you like prove your worth you don't have to prove anything to to anybody you know you have to just be you and it's very difficult to actually be yourself in this society that tries to could that tries to control your every actions you know that that tries to you know you know try try to to to, to uh to strip away that uniqueness of yours you know you know it, it's it's difficult to not be a a, a conformist to to this to stick true to what you to what you really believe in in this in this time you know to really you know not to change your opinion for anybody else you know stay stay true to who you are and be real you know we, we say you know to, to be yourself many times and that may seem like a very cliche thing but you know being yourself is, is very it can be difficult in this society and a lot of people in this world aren't themselves they don't act like their genuine authentic selves and sometimes they conform to other people's opinion opinions or will they may hide what they truly feel about a person you know you know speak your truth even if your vote if your voice shakes you know speak your truth even if you anger somebody you know you're you're not you can't please everybody you know you're gonna no, no matter who you are you will you will gain enemies you know people will hate you for 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 who you are so you might as well just be be yourself you know even the the kindest or the most enlightened the, the most enlightened person is gonna have people that don't like them you know and so again when you're when you get to a point where you're abundant and com complete from within you'll appreciate the people that come into your life but at the same time, you, you won't be missing anyone because you won't miss anything that's external from you because you're already peaceful and complete from within. Now, abundance, I feel, is our natural state, even when we were children. However, as we are as we're integrated into the society, we're thought to like uh, to, to live in this lack mode, to 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 seek something that's outside of ourselves and to live like and as we're living in this lack mode, like uh, 
it's even shown in commercials and, and in business as well in advertisements you have to get your your clients to have some kind of uh, you know uh, to live in that what are they missing in their lives you know they make you focus on what you're missing in that life you know oh this beauty product is going to improve improve your your looks it's going to make you so much more beautiful or this car is going to make you much more of a man you know they're always seeking something that the client lacks so that they can sell their products and you know this is even shown in uh, in art commercials you know the, the in art commercials they make you think that the tools makes the artist it may, it may, you, it may, and it may get like downloaded subconsciously but they make that's their that's their objection that's their uh, objective to make you think that the tools make the artist but in actuality the artist makes the artist you know the, the tools is just a, an extension of the the artist the 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 knowledge that the artist has already from within you know but but uh, when when they are like advertising or when they are like selling you things they they want you to live in that kind of lack that okay i'm missing this in my life i'm missing this kind of this uh this kind of beauty product or this pencil or, or whatnot but none of that matters you know what really matters is the uh your knowledge your, your knowledge and experience from within you know that's what makes that's what makes the artist and and for beauty you know it, it also can come from within as well you know of course you know you can take care of yourself you can take care of yourself you know physically that's part of it but at the same time like uh what i find attractive in in, 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 in people is like their energy like the energy behind that uh, that beauty you know if, if they're beautiful and at the same time they have this attractive you know vibrant and en energy that's kind of, that's also like a very very you know that's highly pulling pulling even when i look at you know when i look at supermodels you know uh sometimes when i when i do talk to them you know sometimes you know looks can be deceiving you know uh you can you can talk to someone who's like extremely beautiful but like you know when you when you actually get to know them they're like uh you know they're not really as uh, as attractive you know on the inside but you know externally yeah but you know on the inside not not exactly you know so like what really like what really pulls people is your your experience and your abundance from within how 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 much are you working on yourself from within you know and so remember to love something or someone you must first love yourself first you know and so if a person isn't reciprocating the reciprocating back the uh the affection or you know they just don't want to be around you then the most self-loving thing you can do is to walk away and move on because the more you're doing it the more emotional and mental trauma you're you're putting on to yourself and if you loved yourself you wouldn't want yourself to go through something like that you know focus on a passion focus on healing yourself you know find something that you that you love to do you know alone you know find reconnect back to who you are understand and, and, and study your psyche you know take this opportunity to to do so you know take this opportunity to find some completeness in within yourself find happiness in in who you are find happiness in just being being alone you know and not externalizing yourself towards other people you know and if and and during this this love addiction process to, to heal from it you know take time away uh remove yourself from anything that reminds you of that rather it's pictures or you know just mute them on on social media or something you know just remove remove yourself so that you're not constantly like thinking or or it, it isn't like being updated in your mind you know take take a year or or two take a year or two break from from all this of, of all this reminding of the other person and uh focus on your passions and and, and your purpose and, and you know your hobbies and you know start to understand yourself more and remember to never never get attached to anyone emotionally and mentally you know you don't want them to own your soul you want to own your own soul become complete and abundant from within you know find someone and once you're you're complete and abundant from within you own your own soul 
you'll find someone else that's complete and abundant from within and as they found your their own soul because when we're when we're in that the night that dynamic of trying to look for something to complete us either party is going to get needy and you know even in the media it's it's, it's shown and this love obsession and addiction is is shown in our media you know we have you know we have singers that that sing the uh you know i can't live without her or you know i can't live without him or you know they, they're externalizing their power you know they're not abundant and happy from within you know you never want to be attached to anyone you know externally from you you know uh it's just my personal opinion like i, I don't i don't feel that uh, you know it is healthy so you know and you know some of the songs i, I there were some songs i do i do enjoy like it you know uh the beatles don't let me down it's john lennon uh singing to some girl uh, of of her not letting him down or something like that but again you know it's cool no but i feel in real world terms you know you want to be abundant from within you don't want to rely on anything external from you to make you happy anything external is a extension of the happiness that already exists within you that will be the video thank you guys for watching it and thank you for the person who uh who gave me this topic to talk about i hope this uh this has helped you and uh yeah feel free to leave you know a comment tell, tell me your thoughts about the video uh and uh yeah peace